none good intentions. What do you think about the album? Yes, sir. So, uh, you know, I couldn't wait for this actual album because I had a whole lot to say about Nav when I listened to the album. Uh -oh. and then a, whole bunch of time, a whole bunch of time has gone by since I heard the project to now, and I'm just like, eh, should I say it? Should I not? I'm just going to go say it. Um, Nav is better at talking to the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> he's better, he makes better music when he's talking to the ladies than when he's talking about guns and drugs. <laughs> as as crazy as that sounds to maybe some people, oh, man. I, I think this album solidifies that. <laughs> it just it just it just makes the most sense at, at a time like this because <laughs> with this album being so so long, and that was the other thing, man. This album is so long, unnecessarily. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, bro. They're talking to the ladies, dish. Talking about guns. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I think I. Oh man! Listen, I, I reserve the right to change oh, my mind, man. but I think at this point it's solidified. Because all right, let me get serious. Because when when I threw the album on, I wasn't really expecting much, honestly. Um, and we talked about this, man. Nav dropped his last project called Bad Habits, which was a number one album, surprising him still to this day. Because even on this project, he talks about how he's still surprised at getting at being number one on that last project, right? Like he, and granted, I don't, maybe he didn't ever see his career going this far. Um, maybe he had a whole lot of haters, him being a brown boy, the self-proclaimed brown boy. Um, but Nav is, uh, Nav is one of those artists that on his fifth studio project, cause that's what this is, five, he's dropped more projects than Kendrick Lamar. Crazy. That's a fact. Crazy. He's got more studio projects than kids. You're, right. You're right. It's crazy. Um, I think this is one of those like make or break moments for Nav because it's like, dude, how have you dropped five projects, but yet the 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 culture, the the hip hop landscape, the people who have historically been tastemakers and telling people what's good and what's not don't really know who you are as an artist. Right, like it feels like he's never really given us himself in the music. He's he's given us glimpses, right? He's given us a little taste here and there. He's added. He's the he messes up with the girl. He drinks, you know, does the, whatever. I think on this project, uh, good intentions. The second part of this album is the best. The second part. Um. I'll give you the exact song where the album starts to get very good to me. At the the song with uh, with Gunna called Codeine. From Codeine down, this is a really really good project. Really good. I say really good because he gets into his vulnerable bag, like exactly what I was talking about, right? I, I personally, I've been waiting for Nav to really just feel comfortable in the music to just let loose and just not give a fuck with what I feel like anybody has to say. And I feel like he did that on this project. I really feel like he did that. I feel like he, he accomplished, he accomplished that man. He, he gave us the, he gave us the melodic sound that we normally are used to the robotic sound. He gave us the, the, the gun toting, drug sipping, all of that stuff. He gave us the, the normal content, but I think what he did more than what he was doing on his last, four projects was really get vulnerable enough to talk about women and the girls that are in his life and how, <laughs> how that makes him feel and how he treats them. Call me crazy. I think Nav actually makes good music when he talks about the women in his life. I just feel that way. So overall, this was not a great project. It wasn't a great project, but I do believe it was 
it was good with the exception of the first few songs that I just feel were a little repetitive from what I hear from Nav on a regular basis. So overall, I'm gonna give this album a bordering C plus, but I'm gonna give it a C. It's, it's average, it could be better, though. No. Okay, I mean, you gave it a lot of praise. You gave some serious praise there, but I understand. I did. I understand, you know, certain artists, right? We almost root for to do good. So when they start doing more positive music, not positive as in like, you know, good, good will, positive as in they start doing things that you would call productive when it comes to music making, you start to give them points for it. Well, if they were so bad to begin with, then even if you did give them points for improving certain things music making wise, they're still at the most average. So to me, I think with this album, Nav simply reached average. He was fighting an uphill battle because I think Nav as an artist, especially um, after he dropped his first album, was actually a bad artist. When he dropped Perfect Timing, I feel like he was a bad artist. And to, to, he actually said that he was actually struggling with music. He said he didn't take music as serious as he wanted to in interviews. He said that um, after Reckless, he started to actually pay attention to uh, music again, like care about music again. And so it's not a coincidence. He was a really bad artist back then. Um, with his project before Bad Intentions, sorry, um, before Good Intentions, with his project before Good Intentions, Bad Habits, I thought he was, he was getting to a point where he's like, okay, I get where he's coming from. He's getting better, but he's still not there. This album, he got there, but him getting there is still below average to average to me. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, his style of rapping or singing or whatever you want to call it, there is no freaking way that that could translate to good music. There's, no, there's nothing he can do. Like if you're going to use auto-tune that heavy, if you're going to talk about drugs and guns and you know stuff that lyrics that I really kind of tired of, there's nothing you can do to make good music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he starts off as average already as a rapper, as a singer, or whatever you want to call it. But what I think he does really well on this album is that he consistently dishes out bangers that are at least appealing. He dishes out songs that you can say, oh, at least my head is nodding. Oh, okay, at least I can feel it. You know, at least it does something for my mind. Like, but at the end of the day, that's not enough for me to say that it's a good album. At the end of the day, it just means it's average. That There's aspects that are cool, but it's still average. So um, I get it. The praise is deserved. He has improved as an artist. I get it. This is probably one of his better albums. But at the end of the day, he's not a good, is not what I would consider a good artist. And good artists don't make good albums. I wouldn't consider this a good album. I would consider it average. And he would never get above average. <laughs> with the style of with his style of rapping, to me, he would never get above average. With so you said something key with the style of rapping, how does the content change that at all for you? Like, like, like to my point, right? I personally feel like, and and listen, if you disagree with it, that's cool. But I do feel like when he when he gets vulnerable, it elevates his music from average to slightly above average like it, it has a little bit more appeal 
because he can he can at least kind of relate to some people that maybe would never listen to his music. Like for example, he got the song with DJ Mustard. I don't even think that song is great, but just the simple fact that he has a song with DJ Mustard with the content that he's talking about in that album. I'm sorry, in that song, it just has a different audience. It me. It makes it a above average. It makes it an above average song. Still in the yeah. average bracket. It's still average. Still average, but yeah. never good. I mean, so there is a, a couple songs on the album that are above average to me. Like, for instance, um, I thought Run It Up was above average. Um, I, I actually like the song. That was a good song, yeah. I like Status with Nag and Lil Uzi Bird. I thought that was a pretty decent song. You know, it's crazy. I like that song too. It reminded me of uh, YC and Future Racks on Racks. Go go back and listen to the song. They rapping with it the same. Interesting. But anyway, um, but, but in the end of the day, it's like, come on, guys. Like, I, I I do have a beef with this, and this is not to Nav's. This is not Nav's fault. It's our fault. Nav, I appreciate him. He's a quality guy I, i'm pretty sure he has a great ear for music but we cannot allow ourselves to dumb down our ears and tell ourselves try to convince ourselves a dude that sounds like an answering machine that talks about some hood stuff that you don't even believe is good music I, I, how could you convince yourself to that I, I just i personally cannot hey hey do not open this can of worms because, and I'm not, first off, I'm not disagreeing with you. I agree. I'm saying this, that same exact statement can be made for so many people that make music today that people think is hot. We would be having a podcast for 15 hours if I named all the people who people claim is fire, but when you really get down to the musicality, how is it considered good? It's really average, if anything. Like I agree with this. Nav's Nav makes average music, and I do think it's ironic. Um, not ironic, but I do think it's kind of sad, actually, <laughs> that if you really look at Nav's discography, right, you can argue his best music was his first project. It was. It was right. Mm -hmm. The number one. The number one. First time he had ever dropped a project in his life. He said this on the interview. He never dropped a project before. That was his first time ever dropping music. That was his best project. Why is that? Because at the time we never we haven't heard that sound. At the time it was a sound that we were still trying to figure out. Like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, it did it, the vibes of the album. They it, it meshed really well, but then at the same time, I'm not gonna sit here and say that this album is that album was good or great. It was decent. It was intriguing. It was an interesting album. It wasn't good or great to me. So I mean, it's just me. I mean, I, I listen to thousands and thousands of artists and music, so I probably am coming from a different perspective. But yes. let's not let's not act like this is the greatest thing. The reason why people it's like the reason why people like it is because he's improved. Everybody is right up until this point, Nav's career has been a bit of a disappointment. So when you start to see a trajectory of him starting to, okay, he's getting a little better. Well, if you are at the bottom and you start getting a little better, you're still near <laughs> the bottom. You're not at the top. So that's kind of how I feel. And I'm not trying to be harsh. Hey, I'm calling it how I is. That's just how I see it. Hey, I also, I feel you, and I also do want to point out, because I feel like nobody wants to say this, this is actually a very important point, that, and I'm, and I'm not holding this against him at all, I think it's dope, but I think him being a brown boy adds to the effect, right? Like, I know, like, people, people like to act like that actually has nothing to do with why, like, he, you know, he has a, a slight buzz in music. Bro, like, we ain't never seen a dude like him rap. It's never happened. Although if you ignore that, which I'm willing to do because I really don't care about that stuff. I do think some people do. If you're just looking at the music, it's average. It's average. <laughs> just point blank. It's I average. Think, I think him being a brown boy actually helps his case. I think it makes him more appealing. It makes him 
somebody that you want to listen to and pay more attention to the words that come out of his mouth. So it makes it more appealing. I, and, and I think, he, like I said, I think he has a good ear for music. I will say it again. His style of rapping is one of the worst styles of rapping I've ever heard. <laughs> Let's be real. Can we be real? Can we the be worst? Real? Can we I'm not, not, not going to say the worst. worst. Listen to his. No. Listen to him. I like again. It's not that bad. But he sounds like an answering machine. He, no, he definitely does. Bruh, like he he abuses auto tune, and then it's like I, I don't know. I, I just personally believe he has the one of the worst styles of rapping I've ever heard in my life. One of the worst. Okay. Honestly, I'm but, not I'm not, I'm, not will, I'm not willing to go that far at this point. Because I think so many people are worse, but I don't really want to even have a competition for who's worse than Nav right now. This is this is this is not about who's worse than right, Nav. Go ahead. No, we got time. No, we, we don't. don't. Like, no, we don't. We gotta move. Listen. Get, okay, give me. We three. gotta move. We gotta move on to the next. No, album. give me three. Give me three of your worst rappers that you've ever heard. I know Silk Shock is on everybody's list. No, <laughs> uh, two more. <laughs> the worst rappers. Worst rapping voices right now or ever? Ever. I, no, no, no. I'll just go right now. Just name. Just name. I'll go right now. Who are worse than that? Okay. Blueface. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I said okay. I said okay. I agree with you. Damn yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't say it's worse than that. I would See, say. Here we go. I would say okay. Blueface. Um. If you say Quando Rondo, I'm slapping the hell out of you. Um, <laughs> oh man. Kodak Black. I'm drawing blanks on names. I got I got a list, man. Shit. Man, you know what? Come back to me. I can name I can name some guys. We'll come back. I can name some guys. We'll come back. All right. I can name some guys, man. Trust me. I got I got a list of dudes who okay. are not better than Nav at rapping. Okay. I don't give a fuck. He sounds like autotune, like every single bar. They're worse than him rapping. But hey, it's all <laughs> I didn't say now. Hey, hey! I didn't say he was the worst rapper. I think he's actually a pretty—he's average rapper. Oh, you're saying style? His style. That's what I'm saying. His style of rapping is one of the worst I've ever heard. His lyrics are, are okay. Trinidad James. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking? There's plenty of dudes. Okay, Lil Got It. <laughs> no, like you, you're not. Come on, man, you're not doing that. You know, I said do one of the worst. Don't, don't do that, Nav. No, you got me defending Nav right okay. now. Don't do that. I, I said one of the worst. One of all the right, worst. I, all right. Let's move on. To, I, I'll come back to you with that list. 